So let's talk about how to stand out in a crowded marketplace. And recently, I have been reading up on differentiators and what makes us different from other people. And what's so interesting about what I've been reading specifically, I was going back through the book New Sales Simplified, uh, was that most of the differentiators that we claim are not actually very different at all. And one of the things that stood out to me personally when I was looking at this is the the guarantees. Um, and when I realized that pretty much every company had a 30-day money-back guarantee, I realized that our guarantee wasn't different. And we wanted to be very, very different and a little bit disruptive. And so we came back with a 200% money-back guarantee where we'd actually guarantee results, which would make us very, very different. Um, and so I think we need to really think about in a sea of network marketers and even as your individual company grows, right, your product may or may not be your differentiator, uh, especially if your company has been growing. And so how do we stand out in a crowded marketplace? Um, a week and a half, I think it's been a week and a half ago, uh, ago, I did a webinar on how to have true impact. Um, it was a sneak peek at the content. I'm going to do at a full day live event in April. Um, if you haven't watched that webinar, you can check it out at emergesalestraining.com slash true impact webinar. Um, but I'll give you the gist of what one of the things we talked about. We talked about how it's the, really the customer who benefits the most when a sale is made. And we had an open discussion about what were some of the products that we had been sold that were, felt like answers to our prayers. And we, you know, had conversations around coffee. And I think the funniest one was butt seat warmers. But it really helped us to take a step back and say, wow, when someone took the time to sell me this thing, um, it really did you know, improve my situation and made me more hopeful and you know, brought me some, some joy there. And I was thinking and reflecting upon my experiences and I thought about how the most recent thing that we had bought or was sold or however you want to look at it was new windows specifically for our master bedroom and so i have asthma in the wind when the winds kick up there was a little the one of the seals were busted on our windows uh, nothing's been replaced in our house in in almost 30 years and so the master bedroom would get really really dusty so a place where i should go to escape the elements i was actually uh it was making me worse and I was thinking about how, wow, this season, um, I can breathe better than any other seasons. And it's because of getting those windows. And I'm so glad that they, you know, sold those to us. But if I think back further, I'll think about um, what I will, I guess, what I referred to this morning is the best decision I ever made, um, to which my husband, Charlie, or... I might be listening to this podcast and might not be so happy about that, but I think he would actually agree with this. And this was when, um, when I was quote sold coaching by Heather. And if you guys have been listening to the podcast, you know that my brilliant business coach is so kind and generous. She even will do a podcast for our audience once a month as because she's truly sees herself as part of Team Emerge, and I'm just so grateful. And sometimes in conversations in different situations, uh, people will ask me, well, how did you find your coach? And the truth of the matter is that I didn't find my coach, my coach found me. So here's the situation, and I think it's a really great lesson in impact, um, and how to stand out in your marketplace. Now, actually, let me back up. I missed a couple of my notes here from earlier. Uh, in the conversation in the webinar around impact, um, we talked about 
how to really impact people came down to communicating with clarity and simplicity, understanding how people make decisions so you can make them feel comfortable. And the third part to try, actually honest to God, try. And so that's a little bit of context for how Heather found me. So how she found me, I didn't find her. In fact, I didn't even know I was looking for her. I uh, was in a class on how to do webinars. And one day I got frustrated. It was a conversation with a good friend of mine who's also a coach. And she said, why are you going this route? You're a coach. And I thought about that. And I just recently read a book about how coaches, um, you know, need to make sure that they are investing in their own professional development. And so I just put a blind uh, post in this huge Facebook group, which had a couple thousand people. I said, does anyone know a coach who coaches coaches? <laughs> which is kind of funny when I say it out loud. So I put that post and within maybe five to 30 minutes, I had a bunch of comments that said, you know, one was, here's my success stories. Um, here's a link where you can um, click on, right, like a time to um, schedule a complimentary call. And it was funny because the coaches, a bunch of them, you know, there was probably 10 or 15 comments. One was like, oh, I specialize in social media strategy or I specialize in entrepreneurs that want to quit their jobs, or I was specialized in this. And um, I was frustrated because I said, I want someone who works with coaches. And um, then I checked my Facebook Messenger, and something was curious. So it wasn't a message. I'd gotten a few of those as well uh, by people who were clearly not paying attention to what I was talking about. Um, so not using the words I was using, but I got an actual voicemail in Facebook Messenger. And so I'm actually going to play it for you now. I'm hoping that this is going to uh, show up properly on this recording. So let's go ahead and play this. So instead of getting a message like, hey, Tasha, I saw what you were doing, blah, 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 want to set up a call, which is what everybody was doing, I got this instead. Hey, Tasha. I thought that I'd give you a quick voice message on here. Um, we connected in the um, webinar that convert program. And I actually have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program specifically for coaches. I call it my apprenticeship program. Now, I don't have a lot of information about this on my website because our one-on-one -on -one coaching is by invitation and referral only. We use our website as a funnel or kind of the lower end $97 a month products that we have. But I would love to invite you into a complimentary coaching conversation and we can talk about this a little bit, see if we're a good fit, and um, discover what it is exactly that you're looking for. I know because we've worked with so many coaches in the past that our program would be absolutely perfect for you to ramp up your coaching business. So let me know if you're in and we will set up the time. Okay, bye. So would you schedule an appointment with that person, I mean, it's not even a question, it's a heck yeah, right? So in a world of you know Facebook messages and comments and look at my success stories and here's a link to the call, we had an actual exchange. Um, she you know, took the time, I heard her voice, I heard her sincerity, I heard the, um, the care that she had and that she was cool and all like all these things right I mean I'm sure as you listen to that message you're like hey that's someone that I would want to talk to and I think what was so striking about that is it was different but it wasn't so it wasn't crazy it was just trying it was just more effort than other people put in and whose coaching call do you think I was most excited about? It was the person who reached out to me personally and genuinely and said my name in the message and, you know, kind of overcame an objection in there. You know, I am a salesperson. And so there was no way I was going to work with a coach who couldn't sell, 
or give that personal touch, which is something that I knew that I was teaching. And I just, I really, really loved it. And so began um, a great story of, of conquering the world or whatnot. Um, Heather and I will be working together for uh, almost, uh, it'll be two years in, in April. And I'm just so grateful that she's the kind of person who was willing to stand out, but not stand out from like just strange, you know, niching perspectives or anything like that. She stood out by really showing how much she cared about people. And that's something that has shown up time and time again. And I'm reminded of the quote by either depending on where you look, uh, Teddy Roosevelt or John Maxwell or Zig Ziglar, um, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so I'm going to encourage you to differentiate yourself out in this crowded marketplace. What if we just showed and proved that we cared more? Like, does that mean we're a little bit more naked out there? Yeah, I, I think that it does. I mean, even as I record this podcast, I'm also um, do you know recording it on video to put it up on YouTube and Facebook, and that is that does feel naked. But I'm hoping that by showing my face, um, that you can see that I really do care about how each of you do in your career. I care about your customers, and I care about all those things, and so. You know, the podcast is titled How to Stand Out in a Crowded Marketplace. And so here's what I'm going to challenge you with. In a world of texts, make the phone call. In a world of posts, have coffee with someone. In a world of people telling people what to do, ask a question. And in the world of fancy headshots and branding, wear a hoodie. All right, that was that was a joke, but I mean, not really. It you know, it, be different when other people zig, uh, maybe zag a little bit. I think that um, personal outreach. So many people act like that's well, that's so old school. But I'm going to argue that old school connection is the new, new school, and uh, what we are finding with our students is. Not, no, not everybody responds, but the people that do, they have stronger connections, they feel cared for, their retention goes up, their likelihood that they will move forward and want to join and earn money has been going up because of that personal connection and personal relationship. I'm not a big woo-woo person. Um, I'm not a big like, hey, let me go out and meet people and new people, like that is not how I am, but I do think that even if that's not your area of expertise, we can still make the extra effort and show people that we care. And I think we all fall short. There are definitely birthday calls that I need to make that I don't, congratulation calls that I need to make that I don't, clients that I want to keep in touch with and I can't. Um, but whenever I can, I, th I think I, I would really like to um, just try to be as personal as possible. And I hope that you will do the same.